Welcome to the Wisecracking Warframe and today a special Atomos build. And that is special because this is a beautiful particle beam cannon which does primarily heat damage. And that brings us to our first build, only heat damage. And um, a little bit of extra normal damage. I also got the multi shots and most importantly we got extra fire rate so the damage will get to our enemies faster and also ruinous extension because we need extra range on this weapon but basically only heat damage and heat damage is most effective against the infested so we did a dark sector defense mission to check it out so here we are standing on top of the world looking down on all the enemies that are still not coming and here is one well here we are looking down and we are waiting to uh, accumulate a couple of more enemies because i wanted to show you the particle beam cannon look at this they link with each other four enemies maximum but still you just shoot one enemy and four others will die as well so that is pretty great also, look at the animation when, when the enemies die. They just burn to a crisp. And I love that. It looks amazing. So, that is an extra. And, uh, yeah, maybe sometimes you'll see this little bug. When you, uh, you're done using your weapon the, the flipping beam is still there look at this the beam is just and even when you kill the enemy the beam is still there it is still there ladies and gentlemen and here we are with the second build a corrosive build especially great against the grenier so as you can see it is electricity and toxin damage and also the multi shots and the fire raid, of course, are equipped. And we need, of course, the ruinous extension for some extra range. So here we go against the Grenier in Draco. So they are pretty high level. And look at this, they are just falling like little bitches. They can't handle the Atomos, the power of the Atomos. Still, look look at the, the beam just connecting to all the enemies around the one you are aiming at. I think that's the most beautiful thing about this weapon. And the last build, but certainly not the least build, is the radiation and viral build. Again, you know how to build a radiation viral, but we need also some extra multi shots and some extra damage. And you can see that the range mod is not equipped here because, well, I needed the points. I needed the points. So here we are at a Tower 4 extermination mission. Just to show you how fucking amazing this weapon is. Look at this bomber. He is dead. Just like that.
So here we can see four, and even four is not equipped against this beautiful weapon. Look at this. Look at his health meter when I'm when I'm hitting it. Look at it. It's going down very quickly. But my ammo is going down quickly as well. And that is the only negative part about this weapon I can find is that it doesn't have a mu enough ammo for high level enemies like four. So you, so you need to use other weapons, and I don't want that. I want one weapon only to kill a bitch. So bring a friend with some ammo, and there you go. He died. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want another video, I got a Valkyr build for you here. It's a beautiful melee build. And of course, a GTA 5 video about 420 Blaze Antics.